Hey guys, I'm Steph and welcome back to my beauty stash. This is a very impromptu video, a video I was not expecting to make, at least not today. And this is going to be a bonus video just for all of you ColourPop fans out there. I noticed that on the ColourPop website this morning, they launched this new palette, which I thought, I knew I wanted to get this palette because of the color story, but I thought this was gonna come out until later on in July, and it dropped today. Today is Sunday, June 27th, and this is the ColourPop Cabana Club eyeshadow palette. This is available in stores right now at Ulta Beauty. The collection launched with this palette. It also launched with some uh, cream, what are we calling these? The blush sticks, which I've never tried a ColourPop blush stick. They also launched with three eyeliners and then three different lippies. I chose just to pick up the palette and the blush stick and that's it. I got plenty of ColourPop eyeliners and I have many, many of those ColourPop lipsticks. So I'm going to insert some photos of those products that I don't have right here so that you guys can see what they look like in case you are interested in picking any of those up. Really nice shades in the eyeliners, but I felt I had those already in my collection. So instead I went on over to the NYX aisle and I picked up this one from NYX. This is the Epic Wear eyeliner. You guys know I love these Epic Wear eyeliners and I picked up the shade Pink Spirit. I was actually looking for a shade like this yesterday during the Hello Kitty video and actually even during the uh, Laura Lee Candy Skies palette video and I saw this on the way out and I was like, yes, it's going to come home with me. I was also able to use the $3.50 coupon, which made my total purchase of these three items around 34 bucks. So not too bad. All right, guys, so let me show you what this beautiful palette looks like. You don't get a mirror with this one, but you got some pretty artwork at the top. And of course, this is a very spring and summer palette. I keep saying spring. I know we're all Already in summer but these tones are very interchangeable with spring and summer and guys even wear them into winter I mean who cares makeup is makeup you have fun with it all year round there's no one color or shade that's specific to any season I mean you just wear whatever makes you happy I am most interested in this dark blue shade I love a good yellow I love this shade right here this orange shade right here, you guys know I did that blue and orange look yesterday with the Hello Kitty video, and um, it just looks like a great neutral but fun eyeshadow palette. And then for the blush stick, they only had one out. <laughs> I think they were still putting everything together. So the shade I picked up is called Too Hot, and this is what it looks like. Again, I've never tried these blush sticks before. I asked some of you guys over here in the community section um, if you wanted me to review this collection. Some of you said yes. Um, so here I am doing this bonus video for you guys. I've already gone outdoors. I've swatched everything, so I will definitely insert those pictures uh, that I did in natural lighting so that you can see what the swatches are going to look like on a fair to light skin tone. I also want to mention that if you purchase, I believe it's a $25 ColourPop purchase, you will receive a free little makeup makeup bag and I love this. This is the perfect size that I need for travel to put like skincare, to even put makeup brushes and I like that it's clear so I can see what's in there. So just an added bonus. You can even get this online. So it's available online and in store. All right guys, so if you want to see the brand new ColourPop, what is this? Cabana Club. I was going to call it Club Cabana. Cabana Club eyeshadow palette and the blush stick in action. Keep on watching.
All right, guys, so just like the Hello Kitty video that I did, um, I am wearing a full face of ColourPop makeup. Well, almost a full face of ColourPop makeup. I have the Pretty Fresh foundation on. I have the Soul Body Bronzing Balm on. I have the uh, the Hydrating Primer, the Pretty Fresh Hydrating Primer as well as the Setting Spray. The Setting Spray is fantastic. And I, of course, will have everything that I'm using both on and off camera uh, linked in the description box uh, below. Some of those links might be affiliate links. So if you do end up purchasing, I thank you so much for supporting me and my channel. It really does help out my channel a lot guys if you just click on the link and then buy whatever you're gonna buy all right guys so let's do the blush first really excited for this um I don't know that if if I want to just swipe it over my cheek or if I want to put it on the back of my hand and then pick it up uh, that way um I guess I didn't set this area I didn't put any powder here so let's see I guess let's just let's hope it doesn't lift the foundation so I'm going to start with that. Again, this one is called Too Hot. Is that what it's called? Yeah, Too Hot. So I'm going to take a refer number four. And let's start blending this. It's definitely pigmented. Seems to be spreading out just fine. I can't tell if it's lifting my foundation. I'm not that close to the mirror, but I will take a look right now. But I like the shade. It's definitely fun and bright. This seems like it would be really good if you're just gonna do maybe one of those no makeup makeup days, but you just want some pop of color and maybe you don't want it on your lips, get it on your cheeks. These feel like really creamy, like really nice. And seems to be blending out really well. That is a very nice, flush to the cheek i like that okay now let me take a closer look no i don't see that it lifted anything just went over the bronzer the foundation just fine not bad what do you guys think let me take care of the other cheek Now I'm reading really quick the write-up on this blush stick since I've never used it before. It says it does glide onto the skin effortlessly and it builds color to your heart's desire, which yes, I do agree. It's lightweight, natural, skin-like finish, plays well when layered and it doesn't disturb your makeup. It didn't do any of that and it was lightweight. It is lightweight. Uh, take it on the go for a quick application, yes. This type of blush is perfect when you're on the go. It is definitely something that you can blend out with your fingers because it is really creamy and smooth. It says uh, just dab, blend, and go. Perfect. Okay, so great. And it is a hydrating formula. So, okay, I like it. It looks nice. I'm going to add a little bit of this Soul Body Highlighter, and the shade I'm going to be using is called Pink Champagne. All right, guys, so now let's dive into the Cabana Club eyeshadow palette. I'll be creating two looks for you guys, and let's get into look number one. I've already primed my eyelids using uh, the ABH eyeshadow primer and let's see, let's see what we're going to be doing with this eyeshadow palette today. Um, I really want to use, I really want to use this blue shade down here. So I think, I think I'm going to start with that one. I'm just going to go right in with that one. And this one is called Pool Party and I think I'm going to be... I do like a smoky eye or something so I think I'm gonna pack that on the lid right now now I do have some ColourPop brushes this is the I think the ultimate brush roll and it's available on the ColourPop website so I'll have this linked this is a really good brush set so these are primarily the brushes I'm going to be using today so I'm going in with the E18 brush and I'm just gonna start by packing pool party all over the lid All right, that packed on really well. And this is a really pretty, really pretty blue. It's not too deep, but it's not too light. 
It's a really nice shade for even just deepening up the outer corner. Now I'm going to take a clean brush, and this is the ColourPop E19, and I'm just going to blend out the edges. I'm just applying a little bit more of Pool Party. Let me blend again. All right, so let's leave it as is. Now I want to go into, let's go into this really pretty shimmer shade. This one is called Cool Off. Let me try taking that with my finger. That's what it looks like. Ooh, this is pretty. Look at that. Ooh, I love this. I think I'm going to take it all the way to the inner corner too. I'm going to use the E3 brush uh, damp just to get better placement. Now I'm going back in with Pool Party right there, the outer corner, and bringing that up here in the crease. Very lightly. Now there is kick up in the pan with this uh, pool party shade quite a bit. So just be careful. Okay, I don't want that to get too extreme out here. I wanna keep things, you know, fun, <laughs> not too dramatic. Now I wanna do a different shade for the lower lash line. Let's do, I'm not going to do orange since we did blue and orange yesterday. Let's try this shade right here. This shade is called Cha Cha Cha. And this shade looks like my hair color too. So let's go with that one on the lower lash line. I'm going to use the E20. I want to say that the eyeliner they had looked a lot like this Cha 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 shade. And they have three eyeliners. This was the darkest one. They had like a really neutral shade. And they had a really pretty blue shade, but I felt like I already had that blue shade. I have a lot of ColourPop eyeliners because I bought like the vault and stuff. And then I just ordered the uh, the Tropical collection, the Tropics, I, I forget what it's called. Um, but that one I ordered the palette with the three eyeliners. So that's why I didn't really feel the need to pick up the eyeliners in this collection. But they are nice, like they would definitely complement this uh, palette if you wanna pick them up, and I do like those cream gel eyeliners. All right, so that went on really, really nicely. I like that. Now let's see, um, I'm gonna take, I guess, you know what? Um, let's go in with this gold shade right here. I'm gonna use the same brush, and I'm gonna spray it. Let's do that right here to brighten up this inner corner. Now I'm gonna take the shade Bikini and I'm gonna run that right below Cha Cha Cha. And I'm using a BH Cosmetics brush for that. Uh, this one doesn't have a, a name on it, it's like super old. But it's like a little pencil style brush. Morphe makes them, uh, Ruffer makes them. Now I'm gonna dip back into Cha Cha Cha. All right, let me pop on some liner and probably lashes, and then I'll show you guys the completed look. All right, guys, so this is look number one with the Cabana Club palette from ColourPop. What do you guys think? I added the, what lashes? Oh, I'm using some of my favorite lashes, the Juliet Lashes from House of Lashes, and let me just show you what it looks like here in the tray really do love these lashes very easy to pop on really dramatic really take the look to the next level and for the waterline i use that new um nyx eyeliner that i picked up and here's the shade swatched on the back of my hand so you can see that there but perfect love these epic wear liners as do i love the color pop liners and this is what we got, a little bit of a Wet n Wild Breakup Proof Liquid Eyeliner in black. Nine out of 10 times, if I have a black eyeliner, it is Wet n Wild. So let's jump over here to the left eye and start creating look number two. 
All right, so for look number two, let's do something. Let's just sort of do something with the browns in here. I think I'm going to start off with this shade right here. Let's go in with rattan, and I'm going to work that in the crease. And I'm using the E16 brush. This is one of those shades that you can just run in the crease and then add any one of the shimmers that are in here on the lid, pop it in the inner corner, and be on your way. You can even use this shade to line your lower lash line. And just use two shades, a matte and a shimmer, and that's it. Really easy, on the go. Maybe this is gonna be a palette you take with you um, on vacation, or just to a quick getaway to the beach. Um, but really nice shade very neutral typical transition shade that is pretty much going to go with any look that's a nice shade and it blended out really really well this is this is good this is exactly what i wanted all right now i'm gonna go in and deepen up the crease a little bit more and i'm gonna use the same brush and we're gonna go in with this shade right here this one is called take it easy love that and I'm focusing this just a little bit lower than where I placed that first shade. What was the first shade called? Rattan? And these are blending out really nice. And they blend into each other really nicely too. All right. Now, let's see. I don't know if I want to start deepening up the outer corner. I might not. I might just leave it like this. But let's dive into one of these shimmer shades. I think I want to use maybe these two right here. Uh, let's go in first with Bahama Mama. And I'm going to take it on a damp E3. And I'm going to start placing this out here. That's a really pretty shade and it complements these other two shades really well. Same brush. Now I'm going to dip into, uh, what is this? Copa Cutie. Place that right in here. Yeah, I think I'm going to add a little bit of depth to the outer corner. Go in with Throw Shade on a refer number 13. I'm just going to add that right in here. Now you don't have to do this if you don't want to. Like we could have totally just left, and actually I'm taking some of it off of the brush. We could have just left the look the way it was, but you know, just to try all the shades. I'm just focusing it right out here. All right, now for the lower lash line, let's see, what do we wanna do? We were using a lot of the shades. Should we just do yellow? Should we try yellow? Let's try the yellow. Uh, I'm gonna start with the yellow on the inner corner though. And I'm using that same little Beach Cosmetics brush. The shade is really powdery too. I love a nice yellow inner corner. Let's go with this one. Let's go back in with, um, what is it called? Take it easy. Now I'm going to go back in with throw shade. And I'm just going to use that to tight line the lower lash line, but only the outer towards the middle. All right, so now let me do some aligner and pop on the other lash, and I'll show you guys the completed look. All right, guys, so this is look number two with the Cabana Club palette from ColourPop. I feel like this is a very fall eye, and then this is a very summertime eye, so you get the best of both worlds right here. All of the shades they seem to really blend just perfectly into each other. And for the lower waterline, I went in with another NYX Epic Wear liner. This one is in the shade Cosmic Yellow. And for uh, the upper lash line, I went in with a brown one. I went in with the uh, Tattoo, the KVD Tattoo liner. And this one is in the shade Mad Max Brown. 
And then of course added the other Juliet lash from House of Lashes and this is the look that we got. Alright guys, so now let me give you all my final thoughts on the Cabana Club palette and the coordinating blush stick. Alright guys, so let's start first with the blush stick. This is my very first time trying a ColourPop blush stick and the shade I picked up, what was called a Too Hot? And I really liked it. I thought this was a really pretty shade. It complements the look and that's because I have two different looks going on. I have fall vibes and summer vibes and this pink just I think fits in perfectly with both looks. Um, I really like the formula. It's really easy to work with. I don't like to blend out blush with my fingers so that's why I didn't do it but you most definitely can because it's a very creamy formula and don't be afraid by the color because this is something that's definitely going to sheer out or you can build it up but I like it. I think it was really easy to work with and it didn't remove any of the makeup I had on underneath. Now let's talk about the eyeshadow palette. This is a 12 pan eyeshadow palette that retails for $18 both online and in store at Ulta Beauty. Forgot to mention the blush stick is $9. And um, these are the shades that you are getting. This is perfect summer tropical vacation palette. You can easily create neutral looks as you see here on the left eye and then fun more colorful looks as you see here on the right eye. There's definitely a lot of things that you can do with this palette. There is quite a bit of kick up in the pan but I didn't really experience any fallout with this palette either. I would definitely spray the shimmers because you're just going to get more impact that way. They're just going to be a lot easier to work with as well and I thought that all the matte shades they blended perfectly. I will say that going outside and swatching this palette, none of the shades really gave me any issues. So just from swatching, I had a feeling that this was going to be a pretty decent palette and I was right. It's a good formula. It's a good palette, a good shade range and you're going to be able to create so many different looks with it and I love the whole little tropical vibe club cabana or cabana club um, theme going on with the flowers really perfect for this time of year. I think it's a really cute collection. If you're in Ulta today or tomorrow or later this week, definitely stop and check this out. I definitely think it is worth adding to your stash, especially if you haven't picked up ColourPop palettes recently. I know they release so many things like on a weekly basis. It's hard to keep up, but this is something that you can actually go into the store and look at and get a feel for the shades and see if they're going to be right for you. Again, this collection included the eyeshadow palette. It included three different blush sticks, three different cream gel liners, and three different lippies. I will have everything uh, linked in the description box of this video in case you would rather just pick them up online. Guys, that's what I do. Guys, this is like one of the only products that I actually go to the store and pick up. I usually just order everything. It's just so much easier. But um, remember, you can use the $3.50 off coupon. At least I was able to use it in store. Uh, for the NYX Epic Wear Liner, I love these things. And again, the shade I picked up is called Pink Spirit. That's what I have on on this lower waterline. Love these eyeliners. All right, guys, now it's time for me to hear from you. This is my bonus video. You guys are getting two videos on this Sunday. So hope you guys enjoyed them. Let me know your thoughts. Which look do you like better? Are you guys summer vibes or are you guys feeling fall vibes already? Sound off below. I want to thank you guys so much for watching another one of my videos. You all have a great day or night wherever it is you all are at. Stay hydrated guys. Drink your water. Cheers. And I will see you all very soon. Bye.